All right, guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today, we're going to be checking out all the new creatures in patch 252, which is the Pachyranosaurus, the Archatina, the, uh, or the Akatina. <laughs> I'm going to keep calling it an Archatina. I know it. We got the Moss Chops and we got the Megalosaurus, which is sleeping because it's daytime. <laughs> so, we're going to be checking out all these guys, the uh, speed, the melee on them, and then just the general uses and whatnot. So, uh, make sure that you guys beat the crap out of that like button before we start. And, uh,. Let's try and get this video to 100 likes. I know you guys can help me out with that. So uh, let's uh, let's start off with the Pachyranosaurus right here. So I've leveled these two completely in. This one's in speed and that one's in melee, obviously, because of their names. So this is the max speed of a Pachyranosaurus while walking. Okay. And this is it running. <laughs> I gotta say, this looks absolutely... Like, it just looks hilarious by the side there when it's max speed running. It's like, it's actually kind of scary. I mean, like, those horns look like they could do some serious damage. And wow, like, yeah, he's he's really freaking cool. One thing I would have liked is if they could actually do Torpor, which I don't think they can. From what I know, they can't. <laughs> Get out of here, man. <laughs> uh, actually, let's, let's test out his abilities. So if you press C on these guys, you can make things aggro to you. So let's do it. Come on. Don't you want to hurt me? Oh, he's not. Is he coming after me? Hey, come on, man. See me? You wanna... Don't you wanna just hit me? Why is he not... What? I'm so confused. It's not working on him. I don't know why. <laughs> How many times can I do this? Okay, well, it's not really working. Alright then. Well, um, I guess that's kind of a bust. To be honest, it actually does actually work on those guys, but I guess it just... Maybe he wasn't within range or something? I don't know. But uh, yeah, so that is that is the uh, the max speed on one of these guys, and that is just one of the abilities that they have. They also have the ability to hide themselves, and when you have that on, you got rage. And then if you right click, you get the hide ability, which is purple. So this will de-aggro creatures to you, and from what I've heard, it doesn't work on large creatures, it only works on like small creatures, and um, it won't work on a Carno, but I think it's supposed to slow them down. Eva was saying that it, he was on one of these, and and a Karno was attacking him, and it wouldn't stop attacking him, but it just slowed down a little bit. I don't know. But uh, I, I think we're going to have to do a little bit more testing with these guys. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's pretty amazing. I, I'm really, I'm a big fan of the little effect thing that comes off the head there. So we got both of them going here. As you can see, they literally just come from, like, I guess, whatever the hell that is. Like, it's, I don't know, what, what is, what's the top part? Like, there's some sort of glands up there, I guess, that just release this, uh, pheromone or whatever but uh yeah pretty amazing so that is the max speed one of these guys so let's uh let's go ahead and just test him out over here see how much damage he can do all right and then these things don't do any damage from what i see yeah and he doesn't have an x ability all right so he does around 900 there all right let's test this guy out so this is the max melee and this is him at max running speed he's really slow but the good thing about these guys is that you don't really need the speed Unless, I guess, unless you're running away from a Spino, but, um, because you can't actually de-aggro those. But, like, you can get away from Raptors by just simply going like that, and then you can just walk away. So it's pretty amazing, and I'd probably recommend pumping a good bit of weight on this guy, and a good bit of health as well. And probably stamina as well. So that is the max melee on one of these guys. Pretty amazing. Not really. <laughs> I wouldn't really bother pumping melee on these guys. They, uh, they don't seem to have a great knockback like the trike, but, um... I mean, they're pretty useful. You could definitely use these guys to uh, hoard, like, uh, materials around, like, just to actually harvest up materials. And actually, I want to just see, what does he harvest? Let's, uh, let's get up here. Actually, let's just take the speed one. Get up there a little bit quicker. I reckon he'll probably get us some thatch. Oh, yeah, we are fast. Okay, let's see. Thatch. Oh, yeah, he gets a lot of thatch. Nice. Okay, that's good. So he harvests thatch, like the trike as well, I believe. All right, cool. So let's move on to the Akatina here. So this guy is really cool, and I, I leveled one up a melee and speed just to show, but we're not actually gonna be testing out the melee because we don't seem to be able to whistle them onto this thing anymore because they changed the way whistles work, and I'm not gonna get into that right now. But um, this is its max melee. <laughs> it probably does like no damage at all, but uh, yeah, I just did that just for fun. <laughs> So, what you can do with these guys is you can, first of all, you can actually pick them up, which is really handy for just getting them around, but it gets slime all over you. <laughs> and he's after pooping out some slime there. So this is their poop, essentially, which is cementing paste. They also produce it in their inventory by just wandering. So you can just set them to wander, 
Enable wandering. Enable wandering. This is the speed one, so look how fast he is. He's still not very fast at all. Like, he's a little bit faster than that one, obviously, but, you know. <laughs> it's kind of derpy. I'd probably end up, like, pumping a lot of uh, weight onto these guys so they can hold the cementing paste. Because, yeah, I mean, like, that doesn't weigh too much, but... Oh, well, they have a lot of weight to begin with. <laughs> I don't know. What would you pump on these guys? Probably a lot of health and a... And probably a little bit more weight anyway, to be honest, and, and some food. Definitely. But uh, they are utility dinos. You would not use these guys to fight or defend. And they poop a lot of this out. Holy crap. But I think you have to pick this stuff up manually. I don't think they pick it up by just going over it. So, yeah, they just produce it up in their inventory. It's pretty cool. So, uh, yeah, that is the Arcatina. Or Akatina, even. Oh, my God, I'm kidding. I'm going to keep messing up its name somehow. <laughs> um, yeah, so let's move on to the Moss Chops. These guys are really cool. First of all, it did the same melee thing, but I can't whistle him onto it. That's his max melee. Pretty amazing. This is the max speed on him. So let us do let us do something really fun here. So this is the move to command. You can do this by press by pressing comma. Oh, something's attacking. Oh, let's test it out. Oh. What's up there, buddy? Oh, why is he still attacking me? Oh, he's attacking the other one, that's why. Yeah, that's why. Okay, let's do that then. Leave us alone. Oh wow, he did a decent amount of damage there. Okay, that wasn't too bad. All right, let's. Uh, where are those moss chops gone? Oh man, no, the raptor scared them away. Oh, where did they go? Where did? What? Moss chops? Oh no! <laughs> the moss chops all got scared away because of the raptor. I heard that that happens. The moss chops is very cowardly. Okay, they're all the way over here. Well, one of them is anyway. Where's your buddy? Come with me. Where is the other one? <laughs> they're very scared. And obviously, if any if anything was to happen, they just randomly just run away because they're cowards, which is kind of funny. I mean, <laughs> it's kind of hilarious, but at the same time, it's kind of annoying too. So we found one of them. I guess I'll have to go on an adventure to find the other one. You go there, buddy. So that is the move to command. So you do that by... You get that by pressing comma. So I'm going to have to go find the other one and then we'll be back. So I've got these two guys now. All This one was all the way down there, by the way. It was ridiculous. He ran really far. So I think they probably just run for a timer, but he was a, mo he was a lot quicker. So he ran further. I don't know. It's kind of weird. So let's whistle these guys over here. So as you can see, well, the other one kind of got a little bit stuck. But as you can see, like, there's a huge difference in speed. Speed definitely helps, but um, I don't think you'd really want to pump speed. Mostly food, to be honest. Because these guys are very useful because they can collect a ton of different materials by... Oh, you can go in here and you can actually level up these, uh, these little collection, like, harvest things. I don't even know what you'd even call them. Like, harvest bonuses, maybe? So you can do this and basically they will harvest more of these materials. So obviously or you want organic polymer. So you get 65 points and not exactly sure what the 65 points do. Like do you get one per level because I max level this guy? Probably, I don't know. I'm going to have to look into that a little bit more. We're going to do a taming video and we're going to actually figure out all this stuff. But um, yeah, so you can use this guy to harvest organic polymer, which is going to be very useful. Probably put one of these guys into my organic polymer penguin farm, which... <laughs> That's gonna be the derpiest thing ever, but uh, yeah, so you, you can just level up these different stats here So if you want mushrooms You can do that and I guess they like eat bushes or something. I don't know But uh, yeah, we're gonna figure out around we're gonna figure out about this guy a little bit more in the taming video Which I will be doing at some point soon so you guys can check that out if you want But uh, yeah, pretty amazing. He looks really cool as well. He's got this gland on the back of his face there as you can see they his ears? <laughs> I'm not even sure. He is so fat though. The skin is like, it's like leather. Oh my god. <laughs> Just look at that. Looks like a sad face. <laughs> kind of. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, moving on to the the uh, the prize of the update, and this guy is very exciting. Now you may be here wondering how, how like, where do you find these guys? Because I had the worst time trying to find these guys. These guys spawn in caves. From what I've seen, I have never seen one on the surface. Yeah, in the taming video, we found these guys in the chitin cave. Pretty amazing. And uh, they are, they're really sluggish during the day. They have this little sleep depth thing. I, I mean, I assume that means like sleep deprivation maybe. So once that goes to 120, they have to go to sleep. But I could keep him awake because there's several different commands you can do here. You can do stay awake. 
stay asleep. And also when they are awake, you can put them to sleep. So you can do stay asleep, remove stay lock. Um, so I guess that would, what does that do? Oh, I put them to stay awake. Okay, grand. So remove stay lock. So if you keep them on stay or like awake or asleep, you can remove that. And then you can also wake them up. So they're pretty cool. Let's check them out. <laughs> so this one is the melee one. Let's do a little bit of damage here. So it's going to do more at night time, as I will show in a couple minutes. But that is the melee. And let's check out the speed here on just the melee on the speed one here. So this is not pumped at all. That's that's decent amount for like no points into that at all. You'd probably want to pump like a little bit in, to be honest. And this is his speed during the day. He's going to be faster during the night time. But uh, yeah, that's pretty amazing. Pretty cool. So let's check out the normal speed of a non-fully maxed out one. <laughs> Alright, so as you can see, really slow, but they've got a really good turning radius. Pretty freaking amazing. You're not going to be able to actually run on the heels of one of these guys. Never. <laughs> and also, they've got like several good attacks as well. They can pick up creatures. Let's do it right here. He's really sluggish. Do we even do it? I don't think we even can because it's... Can we do this during the day? Wow, he's super, he's super sluggish. Okay, let's just change it to nighttime. Alright, so I've got the command right here. There we go, 11 o'clock. We've got a gamma up, gamma 3.5, amazing. This guy's going to sleep. As you can see, sleep, defri sleep deprivation drops a lot during the nighttime. It drops slower during the day. So if that goes to 120, he's going to need to sleep. So they kind of have a bit of a timer. It's, it's pretty amazing. So this is the speed during the nighttime. He is so fast. <laughs> This is like insane. Imagine one of these things running at you. Like, wow. Well, the camera's a little bit weird on these guys, actually. That is a, uh, I don't know, the camo camera's a little bit weird. I don't think that's right. Hmm. Anyway, so yeah, that is the mech speed one of these guys. Let's check out his melee during the day. Okay, that was like 1500 before, I think, or 1300, so it doubled. Let's check out this guy. Wow, 7,000. Holy crap. <laughs> oh, and this is the uh, max speed of one of them during, or this is the minimum speed of one of them during the nighttime. That's pretty cool. Let's check out this attack here because this actually does do damage. That does 9, four, or 934 even. And let's check out this guy here. All right, so it does around three times the, uh, the melee of this guy here. Let us check out picking up. We should be able to do it now. There we go. This is like the derpiest thing. <laughs> Oh, and you can like gnaw on them as well. Let's just get rid of that. There we go. Oh my god, it's so derpy. It is so fun though. You can pick up small creatures. From what I've seen, you can pick up um, small creatures up to a saber. Uh, like I was really surprised about the saber. I picked up one of those in the uh, in the episode where we tamed one, and man, that was like so surprising. You can pick up a saber tooth. Imagine if there's somebody on that saber tooth. They are just like they can probably bite back, but you're gonna do a hell of a lot more damage. Like, holy crap, these guys are really good if they can actually take out people on sabers and direwolves. I assume they can pick up a direwolf if they can pick up a saber. So yeah, pretty freaking amazing. <laughs> Alright, let's check out the roar. This is what you get if you press C. So it's not as, like, loud. It's a little bit wimpy, but it's pretty cool. I like it. It's it's pretty amazing. <laughs> Oh, so yes guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and if you did be sure to beat the crap out of that like button Let's try and get this video to a hundred likes and uh, Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more We've got a bunch of taming videos on the channel got a bunch more other stuff you guys can check that out if you want But uh, yeah, that is it for today. So I will catch you guys next time